I bet you in five years I still haven't completed Fallout 4. <laughs> it's not my fault! I can't open the first vault door! <laughs> so, this is a message to my 25 year old self. Um, that text took me well over 10 minutes to put on the screen, so please appreciate it. This will most likely be the last message to my future self video because I'm not doing one for when I'm 30 years old because I'm never gonna get to 30. I'm never gonna be old, so don't have to worry about that. So, 25 years old. That's disgusting. Not that, but that. You're 25. Well, first of all, I hope things are better than they are now. That would be nice. I hope things are better. And if they're not, then I might just have to kill myself. <laughs> Don't joke about that. Right now, I think my biggest pickle is uh, six inches. No, I wasn't talking about that. My biggest conundrum is that, well, is moving out. I really hope by 25 you've moved out and you're comfortable in your own place and whether it's sharing a house with someone, whatever, I just hope you have your own bubble and your own zone. As much as I love my family, I, I, I cannot live here anymore. For my mental health, I cannot live in this house anymore. Like I said, I love them, but Jesus Christ, get me out of here. I think I'm quite interested to know as well where you're going career-wise. Like at the moment, thank you. Argos delivery. You know what? I think that's my favourite sound ever. I'm also interested to know where you're working. Even at 20 I've had my fair share of jobs. At the moment I'm working in a garden centre so don't know if you can upgrade from that but <laughs> yeah what 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 are you doing? What's your job? Oh my god it'll be 2020 when you see this. Oh my god. Unless we've all died from global warming in 2020 I just hope that you're you're happy and you're not too caught up in like money and really materialistic things. I hope you've found who you're meant to be. Like I feel like I'm 70% there. Um, I still have a lot more to learn about myself. I really hope you haven't stopped making videos and even if you have, I just I hope you get back into it at some point. It's quite a lot to comprehend that if I if I keep uploading the way I am weekly at the moment for like the next five years and I wonder where I'll be. I think the question on everybody's lips is how many subscribers do you have? 2.3 million at the least. I mean, it's not that hard is it? At the moment I'm on 1,400 and I'm very proud of that little figure. We've come a long way. Thumbs up. Oh, have you been travelling? Because I, I kind of expect at 25 for you to have a lot of stories and experiences with places you've gone and I know how much we know how much we have a travel bug and I just love to jet around everywhere that I can and I just I just want to know where you've been so what happened to the place that I'm currently working at like what happened there so I'm currently working at the garden center which um, I really love <laughs> at this point I don't even know if that's a joke or not I just I don't know. Um, what happened there? Did you get the sack? Did you quit? How did you quit? I hope you're keeping on top of your health because I know you and I know that if you don't look after yourself and you don't eat properly, um, you will get anemic. You might say I'm really dramatic but when your mum isn't cooking for you every day and you have to fend for yourself, it's, it's like you, you don't know how to cook. You can barely do scrambled eggs. It looks like chewing gum in a frying pan every time you try to do scrambled eggs. It just doesn't work. So how, how do you support yourself in terms of like eating and just looking after yourself? What food do you eat now that I wouldn't eat now? I'm a very fussy eater and I wouldn't be surprised that if I'm living on my own at 25, I'm, I'm not just living off Derrily Dunkers every single day. Is there anything any advice that you would give to me right now like what would it be all jokes aside i really hope you're okay and that you're happy and that things are just going okay for you and that for the love of god you're not in the same boat that i'm in right now i just hope you find that little that little zest of life um 
I don't like lemons, so. I know how incredibly hard you and I work. That's really funny, you and I. You and me both, buddy. Um, I know how hard we work and I don't want you to feel like money is everything. Go out and treat yourself. I'm giving you permission to treat yourself. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Do you think they'll come out of another Spongebob movie in 2020? What about Despicable Me? Are the minions dead yet? Are they actually dead yet though? Oh my god. Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own Snapchat filters from home. Um, this is really easy and affordable and it makes me not want to kill myself. Um, it's really fun, so what you do is you get a magnifying glass and you just put it up to your mouth and you no longer want to die. It's really good. Um, I love Snapchat.